Hello, welcome back to the channel. This will be video diary number uno, number one. Thank you for tuning in. If you are tuning in, thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> this is the start of something that is going to be very beneficial for me. It might be beneficial for you. It might be beneficial for everybody, you know? But like, today, I kind of just want to talk about what I did today. Um, so, <laughs> actually, actually, rewind. Yesterday, I made a commitment to myself that I am going to change. I am going to quit smoking weed. I'm going to start doing things that I've been wanting to do for so long, but I've been super freaking depressed and not able to actually do them or commit fully to actually wanting to do them. Um, so yesterday, I bought myself a new journal. I have been journaling for like, since I was like eight years old. Um, I find journaling really helps me. It's good to like, just get shit out onto paper and the uh, get it out of your head pretty much and it's good to like yeah <laughs> but uh since this um whole pandemic bullshit started i've been feeling pretty depressed not surprising i'm probably probably not the only person in the world who feels depressed because of this i uh lost the job that i've been working since september that wasn't fun. Um, I actually, so I got laid off on March 14th and then on March 20th, I started working again. <laughs> I couldn't go without working, but the job that I got was a cleaning job and it just wasn't like, I've had a lot of, um, cleaning jobs in my life and they have never been enjoyable. If you have ever done cleaning work, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's just the people, like the public that you have to deal with and their perception of you. And I wasn't provided like a mask or anything working during this pandemic where people are literally freaking dying. Um, I just didn't feel, it wasn't a good experience, but I really needed money I tried to apply for like the EI and the CERB and it was complicated as hell. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just go back to work. Like there's, there's work opportunities that are here. I will take one. So I started doing that and I don't know. I just kind of lost touch with myself because I felt like I was putting myself back into that place of being a cleaner and nothing against cleaners. Like we need them in our society like they're very important they have very important roles but like i don't know i took clean i took up a cleaning position when i was younger because i had a lot of anxiety and i didn't want to deal with like working in a retail posi position dealing with like people because i'm really bad at talking and i just get really anxious and i don't like confrontation and mm, so like cleaning you don't really have to talk to people i mean you got you get the odd, odd fucking dude who like talks to you every now and then but that's pretty much all that was but i felt like i was taking a step back when i took that position back in march and i was dealing with a whole lot of other stuff i don't really want to get into but I think that just progressed my depression even more because I was trying so hard to like climb out of it and then I just felt like I fell back down. But I started working at my regular, the job I had like before everything happened again and things are finally starting to feel like they're a little bit normal. Like I'm still doing, I'm doing online schooling which is like not fun but only really have like a month and a half of that left and then I'm starting my internship 
but I don't even know where I was going with this. <laughs> okay, I think I know where I was going with that. Pretty much, I feel like I need to start posting on this channel because I'm a very creative person. I paint, I draw, I sing, I write music, I do... I like to dabble in all mediums of art and creativity and for like the longest time I just haven't been doing anything. Like my life had just become me waking up, going to work, smoking weed, or waking up, going to school, smoking weed. Like there was no nothing in between any of that. Like I would have like bursts of inspirations every now and then, but it was like, I haven't finished a painting in probably, like, a year and a half. <laughs> like, fully finished it to, like, like, gotten it to a place where I actually love it. Um, but I think starting this and being able to see the video and, like, see that I posted and having that feeling of, like, accomplishment knowing that I'm doing something that's going to help me, I think that's what's going to get me out of that, out of this, the depression. Um, so, so I've started making bowls and today I made a to-do list and I almost finished everything on my to-do list, which I'm very proud of myself for doing because like, there's so many, there's been so many days these past couple months, pretty much past couple years, like this is, the, the depression has, it's been a long freaking time. Like the pandemic just amplified it, I think. Made me actually realize that like, there is an issue at hand and I need to actually grasp and fully take on this issue head on. Because, yeah, I gotta do it, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I think the whole premise and layout of these videos that I'm trying to accomplish is just talking about what I did in my day to help myself, how my day was, and just like, I don't know, just talking about like what I can do to help myself. Because at the end of the day, I'm the only one who can help me. And I'm going to do that. <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you so much for my first YouTube comment ever. <laughs> thank you, Song, for commenting this. They want to know what drives me to do better at something. I think right now what is driving me to do better at living my life is knowing that in the future, I'm going to feel the satisfaction of all the hard work that I'm putting in right now. I know there's a bigger picture, and I just have to focus on that bigger picture. <laughs> but anyway, before this video becomes too long, I just want to say thank you for watching. Um, you ain't got a subscriber or anything. Uh, I just ask that you be kind. Spread love. Peace out.